Good morning everybody and welcome to the craft room with Tanya. Now, I want to say first of all thank you so much to everybody that has been watching my videos and has been subscribing to the channel or joining our group as I prefer to think of it. And I also want to say a massive thank you to everybody um, for their very kind, generous and thoughtful comments. Um, they really, really genuinely mean the world to me and it just inspires me to want to make more um, videos for you. So for all of those comments, thank you very, very much indeed. Now, I want to make my own patterned paper, but um, I want to use a card that I have lying around and this is a prime example. This is a, the back the backing, if you like, of um, a 12 by 12 stamping up set of designer series paper. Um, this one was Cheerful Treat, made in the US of A. And um, as you can see, there's like a, a sheen, a mild sheen of the printed side. But if you turn it over, it's matte on the other. Oh, look, semi-painted nails. I was out yesterday on a little run um, with the hubby and friends. Um, so the nails were done because there's ink on the inside of this one that I couldn't get out. <laughs> and it was disgusting looking. Honestly, it was it was absolutely it was I tell you what it was too, it was stamping up um what do you call the colour? Chocolate chip. Could I get it out? And it comes up this really yellow colour. Um, and I, it, it looked like my nail was about to fall off. So there was a coat of nail polish went on that. <laughs> and I haven't taken them off yet. Um, I don't paint my nails very often, I have to say. So I'm kind of, they keep surprising me. They keep taking me on a wise. Now, back, focus Tanya, back back to um, what we're trying to do. Let's try and keep this one sweet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two videos. The first video, I want to make my paper or card more of a sort of grungy browny tinge um, I want to make it look older than it is and then I want to stamp onto it okay in order to get that older sort of worn paper effect what I'm going to do is use coffee now you can use tea equally as well well that's not true you can use tea um, It'll give you a lighter shade. Coffee, I find, is much stronger on the sheet. It's a much stronger colour and you can alter it a lot easier. Um, you can use two or three tea bags in some water, hot water, um, roughly about half a glass or half a mug. Um, it doesn't really matter. With two or three tea bags steeped in it, possibly overnight, and you'll get like a, let me see, have I anything here? I think I've used everything that was steeped. Let me see. Yeah. Do you see the colour in there? That colour? That's tea bag. That's a tea bag stain on a plain white envelope. And then what I've done is it wasn't grungy enough for me, so I went over it with the coffee. But this this pale colour is the tea. So you can actually see the two colours side by side. That's a really good example. Um, again, there's a good example, because this is the back. I don't worry so much about the back. There's the tea versus the coffee. Do you see that? Coffee. And then these are marks that I've put on with a stencil. Um, and this is going to be a little Joe annoying jobby. Um, right, okay. Now, any coffee will do. It doesn't have to be your good Tesco's finest Colombian micro-ground coffee, which is a favourite of mine. When I'm allowed it, I have to take decaf. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed caffeine, um, which is soul-destroying, I have to say. But it is what it is. Um, any coffee. In fact, buy the cheapest brand coffee or non-brand coffee, generic coffee that you can get your hands on because it does not matter. This is just all I have in the cupboard at the moment. Now, what I do is I put usually to about half, half well, you can fill your glass up. It doesn't matter. Um, warm water in a mug 
and I apply two dessert spoons of coffee into that, okay? Now, um, I like mine really grungy, so sometimes I shove in an extra spoonful or two um, because I do like my colours nice and dark. So I'm, oh, I can make this easier and just pour it in the glass. There we go. Instead of straight out of the bottle. And I'm just using an ordinary paintbrush and literally all I'm doing is going over this like that. Now, this is a very mild solution, very mild. And I like to leave little splatters and little bubbles and all sorts of things on mine. Oh, do you smell it? Oh, there's nothing like the smell of coffee in the morning. Oh, I do love my coffee. And I love my tea. Now, I want, if you go over this really, really smoothly with your brush, um you will get a nice smooth effect. I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop, just splatter a few droplets on it. And I want to go over the edges again, because if you look at an old book, the edges are always darker. Now you can do this with your, um, no, that's not great, is it? Tanya, this is too, this brush is too, stiff for that let me get one of my good brushes um and if you just go up the edge with more coffee it gives you that paper that you know the, the way the edges of the old paper always look darker than the in the inners um so i'm just going over you can do the same thing with your your dyes you don't have to be bothered doing this but or with your dyes what am i talking about with your ink um, it's six o'clock in the morning. I haven't had my tea or coffee yet and I haven't woken up. I should have had one first. Um, there we go. Yeah. Simple as that. Done. I want to pour this back in because I do like to keep it. I'm not going to waste the bits that are on the bottom. Oh, there's actually a little bit of coffee in that. That's fantastic. Oh, sorry. Oh, cheap as though I hit the camera again. I do get carried away. Um, so that's it. Hey ho. Coffee dyed. There's a wee bit I've missed. Wonderful, wonderful. Coffee dyed paper. It's really that easy. And when you come, let me make sure I've got that all. Whenever you come to um, stamp in this to make your pattern it will be super but i'll do that in the next video can you see how the edges have that deeper tone around them so i'm going to let that dry and we'll come back to that and um we'll make some of our very own designer paper how much fun is that going to be awesome so we'll need our stencils and we will need some stamps to do that um, and it's so simple, it's untrue. It really, really is. A beggar's belief why we spend so much money on designer paper when we have a load of stamps sitting in our collection that will do the job just as well. Okay, there we go. Thank you so, so much for watching. I managed to keep this one under 10 minutes. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> Says you, all you did was put a drop of coffee on a bit of paper and it took 10 minutes. Oh, But I'm going to go now before it's 15. Thank you so much for, for watching. Um, I do hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. Take care of yourselves and happy crafting. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.